gonna do make, make install, and we're gonna go ahead and go back to extensions.conf. And right in here, where we did our guest context, before we dial, we're gonna say extend s2, and we're gonna say agi get name.pl. I'm gonna say channel. And we're gonna do extend s3. And we're gonna do basically a set. Um, caller ID all and we're going to tell the telephone that it's a gtalk and the phone number is going to be dollar sign gtalk underscore name so that will display the name on the second line or on the place where it would normally show the telephone number and the rest of the stuff we're going to leave the same um, we won't show it to you, it works, but uh, we won't show it to you because obviously we're having an issue or because of the firewall. So lastly, we're going to do the meetme.conf and create a quick conference. First thing you do is you edit the Etsy asterisk meetme.conf, you comment out conference number 1234, and then we're going to go ahead and edit the extensions.conf. Above outbound here, we're going to include conference. Then we're going to add a new conference context right here. And we're going to say uh, extend and we'll just do extension um, how about 201. We'll just say meet me. We'll show you what happens here. And we'll just go ahead and we'll dial 200. Please enter your conference number And our conference number is 1, 2, 3, 4, pound. The only in this All right, and that's just default options. If you want to go a little bit more advanced with your meeting conference, uh, you can simply uh, edit the extensions.conf and add the options to meet me. And there's quite a few options. Um, you can find out a lot of them at uh, voipinfo.org. However, um, which is a great site. Just a side the, note: uh, if you have any questions about Astros ever, voip-info. Dot org is one of the best sites you can ever visit. Um, however, a lot of the information on, on VoIP info has kind of gone uh, old since 1.4, but it's still valuable. All right, so I made my changes. I didn't make it 100, I made it 200. After the tone, say your name. So we simply added a, a way to, to, to connect into the conference, but first we have to record our name. Thank you. You are currently the only person. And now we're in the conference. conference. Now there's other options, like you hear here. Music on hold. Music on hold when you enter the conference. So if you're the only user in that conference, they get music. And then as soon as someone else enters that conference, it drops the music and the conference begins. That's correct. One other one other thing, um, lastly, before I finish my spiel and, and Tony takes back over, is in the meetme.com, um, you can you can add optional PIN numbers and admin pin number. So I'm gonna make mine pin number one, two, three, four, five, my admin pin number one, two, three, four, five, six. And if I dial That is not a valid conference number. And simply I think it's because I didn't oh, probably because I got that extra space there. Please enter the conference pin number. So now I could enter Say your name and then press the pound key. And there we go. So there. we entered one, two, three, four, five, six as this PIN number so he, he can legally enter the conference. That's a way to stop unauthorized users from entering conferences. So you have a conference number, you have a PIN number, and then if you're an admin, you have an admin PIN number. And if you have the S option set, um, quickly, I'll show you that. Uh, if you have the S option set on the extensions.conf, which I think we probably do. It means you can pull the menu. Um, and if I go in and dial 200. Please enter the conference. After the tone, say your name and then press the pound key. John. Thank you. You are currently the only person in this conference. 
then I can hit the star key and I can and I can control myself. If I'm a moderator, I can actually do a few more options like kick people and things like that. With that, I think I'm going to turn it back to Tony. Um, next episode, I guess, quickly, we're going to be talking about building a menuing system, preventing telemarketers, and building a quick little AGI application That's from correct. my side. So in the last few minutes here, we'd like to, first of all, recognize some of our sponsors who've made AstroCast Episode 4 possible. Um, as you've noticed, this episode is quite a bit more presented than Episode 1 through 3. Um, majorly, and first of all, we'd like to uh, appreciate and you know, acknowledge Digium. They came through for us. We've had some contact with Mark Spencer. He's been a great, great guy to talk with. Um, and through some of our contact with Digium, they've become one of our sponsors. It's, it's a great feeling to be sponsored by the company who we're trying to do this whole show for in the first place. Um, so please visit them at www.digium.com. <clears throat> if you're a business, they do have a business, business edition of Astros. It comes with support and more information as well. Um, if you're doing this as a hobbyist, you can visit another one of their sites, which is www.asterisk.org, where you can download uh, all versions of Asterisk and pretty much any um, information we've had here as far as libpri and all, those informa all that information. Um, as you can see through our command line, we have most of everything at downloads.digium.com. Uh, another site to visit is asteriskenow.org, which is a quick graphical installation of Asterisk. Uh, we will be covering that in future episodes on how to use Asterisk Now for all of you that would prefer to use that. It has a web interface GUI that lets you configure everything through the web instead of command line. Um, again, Digium also has some great hardware solutions for you as well, so please check out www.digium.com. Some other sponsors we have are Eden Soto. Eden Soto is a great motion graphics designer. Visit Eden's site at www.edensoto.com. That's E D E N S O T O.com. Um, Eden made the intro, the lower thirds, and the credit bed for our site. Again, that's edensoto.com. Also, please visit bitgravity.com, another one of our sponsors. Uh, Bitgravity's website is www.bitgravity.com, and they are a content distribution site. They distribute our videos via streaming and downloads. They have distribution options for video, audio, software, and advertising. So again, please visit them and consider them for all your distribution needs at www.bitgravity.com. We'd like to finish up by saying thank you very much. Um, we're glad to finally get episode four out. Look forward to episode five and episode six. They should be coming out not too short of a time here, or not too long of a time, excuse me. Um, also, if you're looking for ways to help support us in any way whatsoever, um, one way is to just give us a donation on our site. If you'd like a little something back for that, you can also purchase our t-shirts, which we just got more of. This is a uh, t-shirt of AstroCast. It is a charcoal gray shirt. It says AstroCast on the front. The back it says www.astrocast.com. Those are available underneath the support us link on AstroCast.com. Also, if you'd like to become a sponsor for AstroCast, Please contact us at Tony at AstroCast.com. Um, I appreciate your time. I think that's all we have for today. But uh, again, visit www.AstroCast.com. That'll do it for Episode 4. Again, I'm Tony. And I'm John. And this has been AstroCast, Episode 4.